So now let us work around with the vectorizer tool inside of Cinema 4D. So in order to work with vectorizer, I'm going to go on to my NURB tools right over here. And then in the NURB tools, I'm going to bring in vectorizer. So what vectorizer does is it takes your JPZ or pixel based images and turns it into vector. Kind of like Illustrator masking if you have used Illustrator. So I'm going to go over here onto the vectorizer under texture. So let me just click on this and over here I'm on my tube drive and I'm going to select this picture right here. And mind that this works best with black and white images and if the, there are colors it won't work as effectively. So I'm just going to choose this and I'm going to press open. So I'm going to copy it on my source location, yes. And over here, you can see that this is what it imported. So the black is actually here. It's the heart and the white parts are the empty parts right over here. So I can increase and decrease the width right over here. As you can see, I can increase and decrease the width. I can increase the tolerance to make it much more smoother or decrease the tolerance to make it much more sharper. You don't want it way sharp like in zero centimeter because you can see that there's a lot of details right here which you may not want to have while you're actually modeling. So let me just increase it so that it's just smooth enough that it keeps the detail. So don't bend it too much. So nine centimeter, 10, 11, right? So still, all right? So this is too much, 19 in too much. So maybe 12 cm, that's enough. You can also change this into adaptive and other sort of things. Like you can make it more natural. You can make it more uniform as you can see, adaptive or even subdivided over here. So there's a subtle change as you can see on how you can. There's also the angle you can work with. So you can decrease or increase the angle to make it more polygon-like as you can see, or decrease the angle to make it much more smoother, just like this. So just decrease the angle into zero so that it is quite smooth, just like that. So once you're happy with this, what you can do is you can extrude this out. So uh, I can bring in my extrude option and then I'm gonna drag and vectorize on it and you can see that this is the result. But wait, I do not actually want this. I actually want just the heart. So let me just bring this out. And in the vector, I'm going to convert this into an editable object now by pressing C. And you can see the points. So now what I can do is I can go to the point tool. I can use my selection tool right over here. So I'm going to go for selection tool, uh, rectangular selection tool. And I'm going to select this out right here. Press delete, drag this out, press delete and drag this out as well press delete and delete so you just got the heart right here now so now if i were to move the vectorize there option into extrude you can see that now this is an object on its own so i can go to extrude i can uh, increase and decrease the movement as you can see just like that so i can go over here and go over here you can increase the level of depth from the shape from the jpz object you can increase the subdivision level to increase smoothness and also the isopalm subdivision. Press NB and you can see the details right over here. Increase the subdivision, decrease the subdivision, just like that to add in details. You can also work around with the caps right over here, like extended caps right over here. And that is how you can control as if you're controlling the uh, entire extrude shape itself. So this is all made out of a JPEZ image. So it converted the JPEZ into, let me press NA, converted the JPZ into a shape just like this and the shape is now a 3D object over here in Cinema 4D. So that's how you use the vectorizer tool inside of Cinema 4D. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.